the format of the robot. Admitting to my exposed actions and the abuse I face from both internet trolls and immature users of the Yond, formerly known as GoAnimate, proves to be a difficult task. Allow me to elucidate. The future prospects of my channel appear to be bleak, as the level of animosity and mutual support appears to diminish. Unfortunately, I am not doing well with users and fans who commented on my videos and community posts. I seem to have deleted some of the comments, I mean advising comments, that make me nervous, paranoid, and even mean-spirited. Some of the comments contain certain and or pointless questions and story requests, except I didn't seem to bother responding to them at all, not even a single word. I also had various problems with creepypasta narration requests. 1. Narrations for repetitive THX pastas and others that had this same fate, despite not doing them anymore. 2. Narrations for stories that are heavily low effort and grammar lacking, like those objects show and beyond slash go animate creepypasta stories in general. Most of them will be nothing but troll pastas. 3. Narrations for stories that are highly confusing. I mean, I can spend the rest of the day trying to make it more appealing. That exhausts all my remarks regarding such requests. Moving on to another subject, I would like to address the lectures and degeneracy about my channel. Despite my intentions to create entertainment through my text-to-speech narrations of lost episode creepypastas, I have unfortunately been labeled as a cybercriminal due to accusations of ruining childhoods. Additionally, the insulting and threatening messages I mistakenly sent to some users and my disgruntled haters have further fueled this perception of me. Some of the trolls made untrue statements about me and my YouTube channel. They said unfortunate things like I'm a pedophile or some crap, and it made me feel horrible. An instance of this can be observed in the case of Officer Jeffy Official, who made significant allegations against me and other individuals who had not engaged in wrongdoing. I'm so happy that he's terminated from YouTube, but all hope is still becoming scarce for me, as there were 5 videos by 4 other people are still up. I'm referring to the videos that blatantly criticize me for my actions and contain inaccurate allegations. I must make a special mention of four specific users, namely, bots, in capital letters along with a sad winking face emoticon, Kimmela Productions UTTPTHDTC, Koho the Cheeseburger Fan, also in capital letters along with a sad winking face emoticon, and Teen Boy 2K7, which is 2007 by the way. I would be describing those videos immediately. The first one from bots is called, Proof that the formidable robot senses death's threats sad winking face .abi, where he exposed me for harassing and death threatening some crazy user who is part of the beyond slash go anime trolling industry, known as Christmas Yes Sunny Day No. I really hate the idea of them putting yes and no in their usernames. Anyway, I haven't been forgiving Christmas Yes Sunny Day No for exploiting my channel with their edgy and spammy go animate grounding tropes, but I genuinely regret what I said about the user and labeling him or her as a pedophile. The second one from bots, proof that the formidable robot yelled at me sad winking face .abi, is where I exposed his first video on my exposed actions, implying that nobody should trust this said user, and said that him and Christmas Yes Sunny Day No are not better than me. The third video from Kimmela Productions was called, The Truth About the Formidable Robot. And trust me, it's confronting. The video is literally the get stick bug slash distracted slash rickrolled meme looped over for three and a half minutes, with a high-pitched Ivona Eric voice layered in the video's original audio. It's barely audible to make out what the voice said. He's talking about how I was a terrible user when it came to narrating major creepypastas, as well as the usual childhood ruined nonsense, and my uncontrollable behaviors on individuals, including my edgy and toxic detractors in general. He also didn't even mention the word creepypasta at all. 1. He thinks that I make stupid stories and disturbing videos, but in actuality, they were just narrations of fictional creepypastas written by other people, sometimes including me as Topical Studios. Furthermore, there is no chance that I will receive a community guidelines strike for such an absurd offense. Creepypastas, as previously stated in my video about trolls attacking my channel, are not meant to be taken seriously. 
2. He believes I become enraged when people don't like my videos. Not simply those who disliked my videos, but those who sent outright hate messages and insults. I honestly feel guilty about it, because I have significant rage issues. 3. He said that I wasn't able to face hate and criticism. Plus, I'm not doing well with handling opinions from unknown individuals, I will shrug them off and carry on making videos in order to save my sanity. 4. He thinks that I'm a man-child because of my mental breakdowns and crap like that. Bruh, some of my haters can just be man-childs and woman-childs too. 5. He stated something that I will regret doing to my fans when they make mistakes. I'm coming to terms with the idea that I feel sorry for the people who make the aforementioned mistakes. After that, the voice kept spamming oh like a thousand times towards the 2 minute and 53 second mark, and kept on asking about why I was mean to people who did nothing wrong. Lastly 6, he said that I was a disgrace to some kind of community that sometimes hold on vion slash go animate nonsense. Bruh, in terms of the UTTP and AUTTP communities, I shouldn't have been involved in this circumstance. That's all I have to say about Kimmel's video. Now onto the fourth video from Ho Ho the Cheeseburger Fan, called, My Reaction That the Formidable Robot Ruined My Childhood. I can't bear how edgy this video is, and it was a lot louder than I expected. By the way, this is just your typical reaction video that features a clip from a show or movie, which would show a character, or characters, screaming or crying over something they have lost. This reaction video however, has Dragon Ball Z plastered all over it, and I was confronted by its thumbnail of one of the characters is screaming face while being on my mentions tab. The video's description has edgy nonsense written all over it in all caps, something you would expect from a kid who can't bear YouTube content creators, like creepypasta readers for example. Like, seriously, you need to stop attacking me with your ruined childhood nonsense, and you're only doing it to humiliate my channel for the wrong reasons. The last and fifth video is from Teen Boy 2K7, called Teen Rants Season 1 Episode 1, The Formidable Robot, Do Not Bash My Opinion. Surprisingly, this was made entirely in Beyond, formerly GoAnimate. And it's 3 minutes and 26 seconds long. An Amazon Polly Joy voice, formerly known as Ivona Joy, is explaining that this rant is only made for constructive criticism and not cyberbullying. I severely doubt that, even though you put do not bash my opinion in the video's title, typed in all edgy caps and spend exclamation marks. Just like in Kimmela Productions' rant, he said that I was one of the worst users when it comes to the creepypasta industry, despite that Teen Boy didn't even mention the word creepypasta in this video, just like in Kimmela's rant video. 1. Like always, he said that I make stupid stories. Like bruh, these people don't even know what a creepypasta is. Plus, I only narrate random creepypasta stories for entertainment, and again, not meant to be taken seriously, if it is a lost episode or video game pasta. Again, a community guidelines strike would be ineffective, and there is no reason for me to be arrested for making these narrations. 2. He stated that I deleted my messages and posts that contained death threats and harassment, probably towards my disgruntled cyber bullies, and then yelled at me with an ear stabbing on cast Steven voice. He was just telling me that making death threats is unlawful, and that I should go to jail for such a horrific conduct over the internet. I still do actually feel bad for doing that. 3. My fanbase is sometimes not that toxic, but you get the point. 4. I would rather change or delete the rules just to save me from this crisis. 5. I actually didn't mean to harass some of my fans for making mistakes due to my anger management problems. I too feel like a mistake for making this drama. 6. I feel anxious only when I hear what other people think about my videos. Moreover, I have great skepticism regarding the critique from Kimmela Productions. At the 1 minute and 55 second mark, the painfully loud podcast Steven voice returns, and kept on spamming and asking me why like a thousand times until the 2 minute and 22 second mark, where he blamed me for trashing their criticism towards me. The breakdown seemed to continue until the 2 minute and 40 second mark. 7. Previously stated by Kimla, he goes over to say that I'm a man-child and that he doesn't excuse my mental health. This literally made me feel like the next Chris Chan, despite that Chris Chan got arrested and then set free. 
Lastly 8, again, it would have been wise for me to exercise caution when dealing with a community of this nature. He then goes on an alarming tangent about me going after this video. I could have paid attention. I could have agreed to it. Likewise, I'm sorry I read your complaints and let others say mean things to you people, but let's forget about it and move on. We all have moments of mistakes in regard to our interaction with the creepypasta community on YouTube. I remain unaffected by the things I have been told. To preserve your childhood, it's advisable to stay away from creepypastas, as well as my channel and other similar channels that feature creepypasta narratives such as the Shadow Reader and the Lime Queen. I'm considering beginning fresh and disregarding all the negativity that has been directed towards my channel and my narrations. Thank you for listening, and keep bettering my channel.